how to edit SRT files online. So let's say you have an SRT file for a video, just like I have right here, but you want to edit it due to the fact that there's a mistake in it or the timings are off. For example, my video right here, if I press play. Hey Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been as you can see, the subtitles are appearing at the wrong time and I want to change that. And I'm going to show you a few different ways to edit your SRT files. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it straight on your desktop and also how to do it online later. And if you don't actually have an SRT file, at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how you can create an SRT file for your videos automatically. So as you can see, I've got my SRT file right here for the video. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually just copy and paste it due to the fact that I could mess the SRT file up, but I don't think this is going to happen. And the reason being is we actually want to change the extension of this SRT file and switch it to TXT so a text file and if I hit enter as you can see we get this prompt that appears and I'm just going to click yes it basically says that it could become unusable but don't worry it never happens so now as you can see I've got a .txt file and this means that when I click on it I can actually open it and see the contents of my SRT file and edit it in the text editor so an SRT file is composed of three different things first of all we've got the number of the subtitle so each subtitle has a number then we've got the timestamps and the time code for each subtitle so we can see when it starts appearing on screen and when it finishes appearing on screen and then we've got the actual contents on the third line of the subtitle the content of the actual subtitle so as you can see every subtitle in this srt file is formatted the same way the number the time code and the actual content and so if i wanted to edit something here i could then go and just let's say i wanted this to be youtube instead i could go hey youtube and if i then go and save or actually what i'm going to do to show you an even better example i'll start this from zero seconds at the beginning of my video so just like that then i'm going to click save i'm going to close it and now I'm just going to change the name again just to adjust the extension. And this time we're going from TXT back to SRT. So if I just click enter, again, we get the extension. We just click yes. And now you'll notice that it's an SRT. So if I go add subtitle file and I choose the copy that we've just made, which I edited, you'll notice that from the beginning, hey Instagram, I'm just making I have the adjustments I made. So it now starts from zero because I started it from zero and it says YouTube instead of Instagram. So that's how to edit an SRT file on your computer straight from your desktop. However, this is very time consuming and it's very hard to do and just the layout of it isn't very nice. So what we can do, which is a lot easier, is actually use an online subtitle editor. And we're going to use one which is actually Veed's subtitle converter. And during the conversion of the subtitle, we can edit it. So you'll notice that if I click choose subtitle, I click on upload subtitle, I'm then going to choose my subtitle that I want to make changes to, click open, and now you can see we actually have the subtitle laid out right here. And again, we can just go through and do the same things. If I wanted to make changes, I can just do changes just like so. If I want this to be, hey, Facebook, boom, done. I can also adjust the timing just like that. Again, if I wanted to start from zero, I can then go ahead and do that. And then scroll down at the bottom, I can also add a new line add custom timestamps. This is a lot easier than the first method I just showed you. And plus here we also have some different uh, adjustments. If I need to resync and adjust the timing of all of my subtitles in one go because they're a little bit delayed, I can go ahead and do so just like so. As you can see, if I change this, you can see the subtitle timings change in the editor right here. And then also I can do the encoding if you know what encoding you want for your subtitle file. And then as you can see, we can actually choose the output format. So if I wanted to take this to a .txt file, I could, but I want to keep it as an SRT file. So with all the changes I'm then made, I can then just click on download as SRT, it converts it. And now my SRT file is ready to download and I do download as SRT. And now I have my SRT file that I've made changes to just right here. And that's pretty much how to edit an SRT file for free. But let's say you don't actually have an SRT file and you need to create one for your video. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. And again, we're gonna be using Veed.io, just the same. I already have an account, but you can go ahead and create an account and try Veed out for free. However, some of the subrip subtitle file features are actually paying features. So if I click on create video right here and create project, let me just make this full screen real quick. Now, if I click on upload a file, I'm going to choose the video I have on my desktop, click open. And as you can see, it's now imported. If I click play. Hey, Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the... As we can see, there's my video, no subtitles. And to add them automatically to create an SRT file, I can just click on subtitles right here in the left toolbar. Click on auto subtitle, select the language that I'm talking in in this video. So I'm speaking in English and I can choose Great Britain. So I have the British spelling of my subtitles and then I click start. This can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video. But once this is done, Veed has automatically generated subtitles from the audio of our video. 
So as you can see right here, now I've got subtitles that have appeared in three different locations. First of all, I've got them on my video canvas on the screen right here. I have them in the left subtitle editor, and I also have them in the timeline. And this is my favorite way of actually editing SRT files, because instead of having to type in the times manually, I can just click and drag. I can also directly preview them. I can see what times they arrive. And then it's, it's just a lot easier for me. And for example, if I want this subtitle to be two different subtitles because it's too long, I select it and just click split subtitle. Now, as you can see, we've got two different subtitles. I can also choose to actually burn them into the video if I wanted to. Um, at the end, if I click on export, I can burn the subtitles into the video. But for the SRT file option, I can actually just go to options, download subtitles, choose the format that I want them in, and then click on download just like so. And now full disclosure, this part downloading SRT file is actually a paying feature, but you can go back to the subtitle editor converter and edit your subtitle files for free. But that is how to edit SRT files online. If you have any questions about subtitles, closed captions or SRT files, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.